you heard my mama yelling for me to walk outside and see if you guys. Name Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, last name McConnell, M-C-C-O-N-N-E-L-L. Thank you. Uh, and you are uh, the battalion? Yeah, uh, Fulton Battalion 1 from Fulton Fire Department. Thank you. And uh, can you explain just what happened here today? Uh, we had a single vehicle uh, strike a structure at 506 West Wilshire. Thank you. And uh, was there any injuries uh, during this time? Yes, there were two injuries. They were both transported to the hospital. Do you, do you know the extent of the injuries? Uh, no, not at this time. And uh, 
Where it was uh, image, uh, we have uh, Anaheim USAR team on scene uh, shoring up the structure. Okay. And then uh, how many engines uh, came out to the scene? Uh, we have a total of three engines and one USAR team and two ambulances. Okay. And uh, do we know the extent of the damages to the home? Uh, that's negative at this time. Uh, we have our, our building the department here on scene as well that's uh, assessing that. Do you know of the home is going to be red tagged or not? Or? Uh, most likely it will be, yes. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Yep. Right, can you say your first and last name? Spell your last name, please. My name is Kyle Short, S H O R T. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, and can you explain to me what happened today? Uh, I was just sitting on my patio down at the corner and um, I hear this loud crash and I come out and I see this truck going across mine and the neighbor's lawn and um, I start running after him to see if I can see the license plate but I don't have any shoes on so I go grab some shoes. I come out and I start running down the street. Um, I, saw, I saw his shirt and his face and stuff when he went by so I kind of knew what he looked like. And they pointed me to the direction I just ran after him and I just I was already beat by the time I got there, but I just tackled him and tried to keep him there until all the cops came and stuff. And so when you saw him drive by your house, uh, I mean, did he look like he was out of it or he was... I mean, I mean, he didn't look like anything, but it just, you know, anyone that does that is probably not in the right mind. He didn't smell like alcohol or anything, so it's probably drugs or something. So when you tackled him, what did he say? He was trying to say something like, I, I know he was trying to say like, Sorry, maybe, but it was hard. It's hard to hear, really, because he was just not making any sense. Was he like winded, out of breath? Oh yeah, big time. Okay. Yeah. Did he do anything else when you tackled him? Or? Uh, he tried biting me a couple times. He like, you know, was pushing on my neck and my face, and then my neighbor Tim got on his legs so I could get his arms, and then uh, I forget his name. Someone else came, and he's like a wrestler, so I let him take over and hold it. And that was it. You guys just uh, held him down uh, yeah. until the police came? Or? Um, I held him down until the wrestler got on top of him because <laughs> I was done, dude. I was so tired. But uh, yeah, and then the cops came and uh, I went home, regrouped, came back. I mean, were you injured at all during this incident? Just my hands, you know, like uh, just, yeah, I hit him a couple times just to, you know, keep him down. Um, and then he was like, he bit my hand once, but I got it out of there before he could really do any damage. Okay. Right? Appreciate it. All right, well, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. No problem, man. Can you say your first and last name, please, for your last name? Uh, Garrett Granger, uh, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T. last name Granger, G-R-A-N-G-E-R. Thank you. And uh, Garrett, uh, can you tell me what happened today? Yeah, definitely. It was uh, really intense. It was a uh, bit of a hectic morning. Had some parking going on where we had to move the vehicles around. And I uh, finally got a spot, got back home, and then I heard my mom yelling for me down the street. I was like, what's going on? And I could tell it was serious in her voice. So I take a step outside and there's these uh, two gentlemen that have uh, this guy tackled in the grass about a block away from the house and my mom's already over there. So I, I run over there as fast as I can. And um, yeah, no, it was one of my neighbors, Tim Johnson. He was part of the initial crew that had him tackled. And I came over there yelling that, uh, you know, I'm a wrestler, I know jujitsu, been practicing it for a while. Actually, I have a pro fight coming up in two days, so I guess this is kind of practice. But um, yeah, no, it was intense. Apparently there was this, uh, gentleman, uh, I don't know his name, but uh, he was recklessly driving down the street, hit a couple mailboxes, hit some cars, and uh, the big thing though was he just hit our uh, neighbor's house right across the street here. Um, I, I hear that there was a lady inside that was already taken to the hospital, and um, yeah, I know when I first got to the scene, I know it was very hectic. I uh, went for one of my back takes that uh, my coach would always teach me how to do. I uh, got on his back, had control of his arms, and I just held him there as tight as I could until cops arrived. Wanted to make sure both he didn't get injured and anyone else after this crazy incident. And were you injured at all during the process? No, not at all. Luckily, it was on the grass, so not even the concrete was a, was a problem. It was almost like wrestling right at the mats uh, back at the gym. What did the guy say when you were holding him down? Honestly, I wasn't really getting much words out of him. He was very incoherent. I heard like mumbled sorries, things like that. Uh, he, he was really having some slurred speech. Uh, I hear some rumors that it might have been Xanax or something of the sort, but I can't say for certain. I don't know. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, definitely.